I first discovered this profile was my dad's. I think I was overcome by this feeling of rage and embarrassment, but also, you know, I've been making films my entire life. And I think there was a, and telling stories my whole life, and there was a little part of me that was like, this is a crazy story. You know, like this is, there's something, like it was this, there was a little bit of an excitement behind that. And then I, I think as I grew older, like I, I'd always wanted to make a movie about my relationship with my dad beyond my uh, my internet one. Um, and, uh, and yeah, you know, I was able to do so with a great cast. Did not want to talk with him. I got to see some research materials that I will not name, but uh, you know, I think a lot of it had to end up coming from me. Like, what do I do when I am not <clears throat> trying 100% or when I'm being very short-sighted, which is a fault that I have sometimes where you're trying to please someone in the moment. The moment is way bigger than the actual journey. And if you, and if you live sometimes just to please people in the moment, that builds up massive disaster down the road. And I have very much done that in my life, so. Oh, I, I got a little phone call. We got to talk on the phone. Um, and we just... Oh, yeah, you talked to... Yeah, you, Claudia rehearsals. talked to my dad on the yeah. phone, and funny enough, my dad's name is Claudio. Claudio. One letter off. Which is wow. A, which is a trick. Which I don't know if I believe in coincidences or anything, but that was <laughs> very crazy yeah. to find out. Yeah. yeah. It was cool watching you talk, listening to you talk to my dad on the phone was the craziest part of the experience. I'm like <laughs> Just, kind of your dad, yeah, and so that was, was such a trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bonding experience. I knew it had to be a comedy. Um, my dad is actually, he, he's always said throughout my life, you got to have a sense of humor. You got to have a sense of humor. Sometimes I can take myself very seriously. And he's like, you got to have a sense of humor about stuff. And, and I think anytime you're approaching subject matter like this, you have to do it with levity so that it's accessible. And, and that's kind of why I assembled this cast. I, I, I brought on Patton because I've, I've been a fan of his ability to take dark subject matter and, and bring levity and, and light into it. And I, I think, and, and with all of these guys, I, they, they all have that quality and ability to do so on screen and off. Chuck is someone you're gonna have to have a lot of patience with. Uh, I love the fact that James was not afraid to, it's, it's not that the character is unlikable, it's that the character is trying to what he thinks is the best of his ability, but you can see how completely wrong-headed and how completely off the mark all of his attempts at fatherhood are. So you're constantly walking a weird line with this character where some of the stuff he does is kind of hateful, but it's so fascinating that you, you're seeing someone burn their life down like this that you kind of can't take your eyes off of him in a weird way. It, it's, 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 it's fascinating the way that he wrote it and then the way that it's structured. You, you're like, I, you're really gonna go all the way through with this, aren't you? <laughs> and it's kind of amazing. I feel like James created a really cool character because she's kind of like no nonsense and she seems really assertive and in control of her own life. But then she does um, kind of get sucked in to Chuck's little scheme, which is kind of surprising because she seems a little too smart for that, but I don't know. She just, she, she really wants to be sexed and it works. So it's a whole thing. You got to yeah. see the movie. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. anyway, um, but no, the whole, the whole script really appealed to me because just even as an audience member, like just whatever, reading the script, I was like, no, wait, no. Like it's just every turn and twist I was so into. So to be a part of it was really something I wanted to do. Yeah. Well, I also, I kind of like how James threw in the moral authority. Is like, it wasn't a big, like, this is wrong. It's just like a couple, like, throwaway line kind of thing. So um, it doesn't hit you over the head that she's the moral authority. But yeah, she's kind of the, <laughs> the compass of the whole. <laughs> More than I should say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leave that vague, James. No. Le let people uh, question Keep and wonder mystique. about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not sex my dad. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to confirm mm -hmm. that did not happen. Yeah. It's called movie making, all right? We've been around the track a few times, but maybe this there, is new. There he is. You gotta He's add arrived. things. 
You got to add things to a movie. That's something we added. It's to get butts and seats, my friend. This is Patton's this is real voice, by the way. This is I about was waiting for this to come out. I've been in this business for 81 years. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You had to hire a vocal co- a voice yeah. coach for him. Was... I lost a fist fight to Betty Davis at the Hollywood Canteen the day World War II ended. All right? So I don't need any of this crap from you. Next question. Go. Hang on. Let me put the Patton persona back on. And I'm back. Oh, my God. That was so transformative. <laughs> Weird, yeah. I don't think that would be my forte. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just trying to get through. <laughs> but no, I wasn't really <laughs> improvising that. That one scene, that one scene that we all know that oh we're talking about, God. very carefully crafted. That yes. was a gentle balance. That was for a sure. Swiss watch of a sex scene. <laughs> and by the way, I loved when I to see it played out and how it was all cut together. It was like, James had this whole vision for the whole thing. Yeah, when yeah. you're just playing, you're like, just your version. My phone's sexy, <laughs> but then, like, but then to see it all put together it was so cool and really funny too. So, yeah. Being able to take a project that you you really believe in with your whole heart and that's so personal to you, there's just no. I didn't have any doubt around it. I I knew it was gonna work, and I I knew people would would get it when they engage with the material so you know sometimes you take stuff out and you're not so sure about this or that but but when you take something out that you just have complete faith in and you and conviction around it's just fun because you're like if they don't get it then they shouldn't be working on the project and if they do then they're then they're in and you're fully in it with them you know i think it took a moment for him to digest this at the beginning i think he was nervous about it uh and I think his biggest concern was that, like, how he did show up in my life and how he was there for me wouldn't be portrayed. And and because he he was there for me in the ways that he was able to be there for me. And, and like, he, he brought, a, he gave a lot to my life that another, you know, a more traditional father maybe wouldn't have. And, and it, it was important to him that, that, you know, he did show up a lot you know and that this was just a, a small period of our lives together yeah definitely the um sexting scene was in many pieces over many days uh and then to see it cut together that was one of the scenes i remember when i first read the script like how is he going to pull this off it was one of the many things that made me want to do this movie so it was also just difficult because you're only shooting one side of it so i don't know what the other side's going to look like and how it will all cut together so that was that was a challenge. That was pretty fascinating. My challenge was uh, the scene where I drop into the pool. In order to really make that a convincing shot, I had to like squat down perfectly straight, like maybe 80 times. Wow. And so it was the next day that I was really feeling it in my <laughs> in my legs, my thighs. So to perfect that, that was uh, that was <laughs> hard on the knees. Wow. <laughs> But we got the shot. It looked so cool. Yeah, I think so it was awesome. worth it. Rachel, what was the hardest for you? I mean, I was gonna pass on this because uh. I, have a, I have a little part, and I was, you know, I sort of already explained my my yeah. sexting experience. So that was sort of like, yeah. Other than that, though, it was it wasn't too hard. I mean, um, there was one scene where I, where I discover, you know, what a what a scoundrel Patton really mm. is, and and I, I said this like. I, James had a clear vision of how he wanted that to go when I when I see the computer screen, and so I just was like following his instructions, and that that was worked out well, I guess. But I didn't have a lot of thought into it as he did, so um, that wasn't a difficult moment. But that was a that was a James ge- being a genius moment. I guess. Yes, because in real life he's a sweetheart of a guy. And by the way, we played um, we played boyfriend and girlfriend on King of Queens yeah. many years ago. This is our second this is my go around. second time being a couple with Pat, <laughs> destined to yes. be showbiz lovers. Mm-hmm. Yes. What was your most difficult scene? I mean, I, uh, directing yourself over the course of a feature for a, a very personal story that that in itself is quite difficult, especially because my character in the film is extremely anxious and depressed and I wanted to portray that as authentically as I could so I was, I was very much in that place you know where I'm I'm very shut down and kind of resentful and, and cagey and so to have to go from that and then I'm having to switch from that to like okay great da, 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 and like that 
that back and forth of being totally shut down to trying to be a supportive and encouraging director, um, it was there was some emotional whiplash there that was that was difficult to navigate sometimes. Um, and and yeah, I mean, I, I but I, I I had a great team behind me that was like that got that, and, and so it was helpful in helping me navigate. You know, it's something I I, I really always wanted to do. Uh, but I wasn't so sure that I would be able to find such great partners that would believe in me to do it. it I mean, it takes a massive amount of trust and faith for people to dive into that kind of journey with you. Because if, if it goes, if I, if it goes wrong for me, like the movie is ruined. Like if I go off the, like it, you, you, it really requires so much trust from everybody around you. And, and I found people that were, that were willing to take that journey with me. And, and then, so we, you know, we did it. Yeah, I wanted to make real Becca and imaginary Becca very different from each other um, to a realistic point. But I think diving into the imaginary version was so fun. There were so many layers to it because I am playing his imaginary dream girl and how how is he reading those text messages and thinking that's how she's saying it but there's also it was fun to mix in this sort of gaslighting elements to really show uh, Chuck's you know sort of motive here and wanting his son to love him and think he's cool and he's good at chess and all these things and so finding the balance and in, in where what angle made the most sense in each moment was really fun to play with and uh, there was a mo yeah, we were talking about like comparing physicality and stuff and then I yes. mean did we follow through on that? <laughs> well there was th there's a really interesting scene and it's so well shot where she is telling this story about her father and I am in the background and we match up kind of your intonation and the way that I'm texting. It's it's almost it's like you're watching a puppeteer control somebody and it's really fascinating the way that really shot, cool shot came yeah. out yeah i absolutely think so i mean the movie's about like getting through difficult things with the people in your life and and being able to go through hard times with you know relationships are with friends and family and everything is so tough and when you're close with somebody that's when all of your the worst parts of yourself Skeletons come out in the closet. exactly and so <laughs> and and so the movie's really about like coming back from all that and and I I feel like the same thing has happened with my 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 real dad and I like I in reality love my dad and and like it, it's you know, he, he, he was the first person to show me how a video camera worked and, and all of my home videos, some of which are in the movie, he's the one that took those and he would help me shoot little movies with my action figures and whatnot. And like, you know, he's, he's coming to one of the screenings. He's never seen the movie before. That's gonna be a trip that I that I can't, that's gonna be crazy. I think he might come up afterwards for the Q&A, but, yeah. but like, I, 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 I don't know. It's a celebration of, like this movie is a celebration of weir the weirdness we all have. And, and I, I wanna keep making movies like that.